Okay, let's start learning calculus. And the way we're going to do this is take a look at a type of problem that calculus solves for us. And this is going to be an informal little mini lesson on this. We're not going to get all technical here. Uh, so those of you who are actually going to be taking calculus are going to look at this uh, uh, concept of what I'm going to be talking about here in much more detail. But I'm going to keep it at a level that anyone could understand. So even if you're just generally interested in calculus and kind of what it does for us, stick around. You're definitely going to learn something. But if you're going to, if you're actually going to be taking calculus, this is going to be a good little introduction on uh, some of the things uh, you can do with calculus. And calculus is an awesome math course. It's so powerful. Um, I hope all of you out there decide to actually take calculus. But um, anyways, uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've come to the conclusion that everybody out there has the potential uh, to do well in mathematics, but it requires two things. One, you got to be willing to do the work. Okay, You can't do anything uh, well if you're not willing to put the work in. But the second thing uh, math students need is great math instruction, and that's where I can help you out. I like to believe that I teach in a very clear and understandable way. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, and you need assistance in your mathematics course, I'm going to leave a link to my um, math help program in the description of this video. By the way, at the time of this video, my highest, uh, most advanced math course is pre-calculus. I don't teach full uh, calculus course, so I uh, just want to make that clear. But I love the topic so much, I like making videos about calculus. Also, if you um, happen to be preparing for a test with a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, teacher certification, ASVAB, whatever the case might be, I can help you out. If you homeschool and you need a great middle and high school uh, math course, I can help you out. And if this video in some way helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, without further ado, let's get into some calculus. So I'm going to talk about this uh, right now, kind of the situation at hand. Okay, so here we have uh, this little graph, this little U-shaped graph. Well, it's actually an upside-down U. This is called a parabola, and the equation to this parabola would this would be something like this: y equals negative x squared plus three. Okay, so if I wanted to graph that, it would look something like this. Now. Notice I have a uh, yellow line here, okay? And this line is referred to as a tangent line, okay? Tangent line, this is a good, uh, good terminology to know. Now, a tangent line happens to be a line that touches a, a graph at one point, okay? Exactly one point. And you can see here, it's just bouncing off this graph right there, okay? So it's not intersecting the graph. It's not doing this, okay? It's literally just touching the graph at one particular point. Now, if you look at this line, this tangent line, it has a particular slope to it, okay? It has a particular angle to it. And so it's kind of just touching this graph right there. And if you look kind of underneath where it's touching, that would be like negative one on the X axis. Okay. So what is the question, right? So some of you out there are like, okay, well, what, you know, Mr. YouTube math man, what, what's going on here? Well, here's what calculus can do for us. Let's suppose I wanted to find the slope of this tangent line. Okay. Where it's touching the parabola. Okay. Right at this negative one, uh, uh, point, uh, negative one on X axis. So right there, if I wanted you to say, hey, what's the slope of this line? How can we find the slope or the angle of this line? Well, this is not an easy problem because typically to find uh, the slope of any line, you're going to want to have two points. Okay, let me just go ahead and illustrate that here. So if I had a point here and a point there, okay, and I wanted to find the slope, well, I could use this point and this point's information to actually calculate the slope. The slope of a line is the rise over the run, or it's the change in y over the change in x. So if you're familiar with basic algebra, if I have a point here and a point here, I can actually just plug that into a formula and calculate the slope or the angle of this line. However, I don't have two points. I only have this one single point right there that's touching uh, this graph. So how do I find the slope? Well, 
the only way you're going to be able to find a slope is by using calculus. Okay, so this is the type of problem that we can solve um, uh, using calculus, and we're going to be using something called the derivative, okay? And the broader concept here is called differentiation. By the way, some of you out there uh, are math professors, have PhDs in mathematics. That's excellent. Please don't be too difficult on me in the comment section, as I'm not going to be uh, overly kind of technical here. But what I'm saying is basically, you know, there's nothing wrong with what I'm saying. I'm just keeping it very general so everyone can understand. All right, so let's kind of just back up here. The whole... Um, problem that we want, we're going to solve here in a second is how do we find the slope of this tangent line, okay, that's going to be touching this parabola represented by this equation right there. So how do we find the slope? Well, I'm going to show you this right now, and this is going to be an illustration of basic um, calculus, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to find something called the first derivative. Now, you can see here this equation of this parabola is y equals negative x squared plus 3. There's a couple different stylistic ways to write the first derivative. One way is called y prime, okay? But another more common way would be dy dx. So this is just kind of some notation that you'll learn in algebra. This dy dx is this basically the same as this y prime. It means the first derivative. But what does that mean? Well, it means this. If I find the first derivative of this equation, which is basically a uh, variable uh, or an equation representation of this parabola, the first derivative is an equation of the slope of a tangent line. So in other words, I can find the slope at this point, I can find a slope at this point, I can find a slope over here, it doesn't make a difference. If I have the first derivative, I can find a slope anywhere along this curve, okay? Of course, I wanna find the slope exactly right there, and this is very, very powerful stuff. There's a lot of applications to um, uh, finding the first derivative of uh, a function or an equation that there basically has a graph associated with it. And how we do that is the following, okay? So right now, let me just tell you that the first derivative, uh, dy dx, or y prime, is equal to negative 2x. That is the first derivative. But how do we find that? Well, basically, all we need to do is the following. So let's go over here. This is the equation of that parabola, that graph. You're going to take this 2, okay, and you're going to multiply it by this uh, number in front of this x. Now, there's a negative here, but really there's a negative 1. So this is going to be 2. Okay, that exponent times negative 1, that is what? 2 times a positive 2 times a negative 1 is negative 2. Okay, then you're going to write that variable x, and this is basically a rule that you learn in calculus. You learn a lot of different rules, but they're not difficult to follow. You just kind of have to learn them and then apply them. So you're going to go that little 2 times that negative 1, that's negative 2. We write the x, and then this is 2. What we're going to do right here is we're going to take this 2 and subtract 1. You always subtract 1, so 2 minus 1 is 1, and there you go. So it's negative 2x to the first, or just negative 2x. That is y prime, okay, or dy dx. All right, so that is the first derivative of this equation or this function, and it tells us what? Well, again, dy dx... Uh, uh, or the first derivative of this negative 2x will tell us the slope anywhere along this curve that we choose. So the specific point that we're interested in is where x is negative 1. On the x-axis, it's negative 1 because it's right there. This point, if we look at the x value, it's negative 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually calculate the slope of this line. So we take our um, dy dx which is, again, uh, the equation of the slope anywhere along this curve. And then for x right here, we want to uh, know what is the slope when x is negative 1. So we're simply going to plug in for this x negative 1. Okay, so we have dy dx is equal to negative 2 times a negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2, and that is our answer. Okay, so the slope of this tangent line is a positive 2. Okay, or 2 over 1, that's the rise of the run. And if you're familiar with basic algebra, this should make sense. It's positive, and, uh, you know, the answer uh, certainly makes sense with um, the graph of this line as well.
But this is a basic example of the type of things we could do in calculus. You could not have solved this problem without calculus. So, um, and this again illustrates the concept of differentiation, okay? That's one thing that you learn in calculus. The other thing that you learn in calculus is something called integration, okay? And integration is awesome as well because you can find the area underneath curves and super, super powerful stuff and interesting as well. I hope that this video, um, you know, kind of like, hey, you know, excites you uh, to want to learn more about calculus. And I'm telling you right now, everyone can learn calculus. It's not an easy subject uh, because you really do need a lot of preparation for it, but everyone can handle it. Again, when it comes to mathematics, mathematics is a skill. You've got to be willing to work hard at it, but uh, no one out there should think that they're not, you know, not capable of learning. You just got to get all those prerequisite skills down. And uh, you got to be excited about learning this subject. So hopefully, um, you know, I did a good job with this. If I, have, uh, I have other videos on calculus as well, so you might want to check that out in my um, playlist on my YouTube channel. Matter of fact, I did a video several years ago, maybe three, four, five years ago, on understanding calculus in 10 minutes. <laughs> the video actually went more than 10 minutes, but I believe that video is close to like 6 million views at this time. So there's a lot of people interested in calculus and... Um, you know, again, if I can motivate you to take this course, well, then I did my job. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.